Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's kind of weird, I haven't done anything like this in a while, but um, I've been like posting on TikTok a lot recently and gaining a very, very, very small following there who are really interested in like my day in the life videos and like what it's like to be a nurse practitioner student. So I wanted to make like a week in my life as a nurse practitioner student so that you guys can get a really good feel of everything that I do in a week for school and for work and my lack of a social life at this point in time. Um, so anyway, it is Sunday afternoon. It's 345. I have an exam on Thursday, so I am studying it. It's I'm studying for it. It's like three, four, five, six. I think it's over like 10 or 11 chapters so honestly i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now um i've only done two chapters so far so yeah studying has become harder and harder and harder with each semester because i lose like my lack of motivation and kind of rely on my guessing abilities which is really bad it's not something that i should do but anyway I am studying. I'm going to keep studying for probably a couple more hours. I'm doing laundry too, if you can hear that in the background. My house is kind of messy. Um, the dishes need to be done. Floors need to be mopped. Laundry needs to be folded. Um, and I think Seth and I are going to go on a nice long bike ride this evening as like our form of exercise. So yeah, I think I'm just going to bring you along for like a week in my life. Um, it's going to be a pretty long week last week was what i call hell week when i have something every single day but thankfully this week i do not have to work in the hospital on friday so i'm really just busy from monday through thursday but anyway i'll show you guys what i have um tomorrow and tuesday i'm going to be in clinicals on wednesday and thursday i will be working at the school as a graduate assistant and on thursday i have my test and then on friday i do have to go do an orientation for my peds rotation this summer so and I need to work on homework because I have presentations due next week. So, and then I work at the IV bar on Saturday. So I guess it is kind of a busy week now that I think of it. So great, just stressing myself out more. But anyway, I'm just gonna study right now. I need to like focus on this. So yeah, I'll bring you along for my week. Just learning about endometrial cancer. Got some clothes folded and stuff is bringing me a Starbucks coffee. He's actually just here. The boys are excited to see him. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. It is 6.35. I'm just getting ready for clinicals. Um, making a coffee. I'm filming a TikTok. <laughs> so I'm doing like two things at once right now. But just making coffee with my Nespresso. And... I'm gonna sit down, do like a little devotional journal, and then I'm gonna head out because traffic is really bad. I have to leave like an hour before clinical starts, so that kind of sucks. I'm sorry, I know I'm like cutting half my face off, but anyway, so I'm gonna go to clinicals today, then I'm gonna go to the gym, come home. I have to fit some like studying in today. We shall see. I'll take you along. It's Monday evening. I just got back from the gym. It's 7.45 and now I'm cooking dinner. We're having a very weird dinner tonight. We're having impossible chicken nuggets and a salad because I'm really lazy and that just takes two seconds. So. That's what we're doing. Seth is taking the dogs for a walk right now. He's rollerblading with um, with them. So yeah, um, I'm cooking the salad. I'm having a LaCroix. This is the best LaCroix. I know I've said this before, but my favorite LaCroix of all time. I don't drink any other LaCroix now, but I tried this. Thank you. 
Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday evening. It's seven o'clock. I got out of clinic a little bit early today because I was in for so long yesterday and I went to the gym, got home, I made tacos and it's like still light outside. It's only seven, which is kind of weird because usually by the time I do all of that stuff, it's 9 p.m. So yeah, um, I had my site visit today, um, which is basically where my clinical instructor comes and basically watches me do like the interview with the patient and watches me do the pelvic exam, which includes the pap smear, the breast exam, and watches me diagnose and treat accordingly. And it went really good. I just had a very simple patient, thank goodness, who was really just here for a well woman and no issues whatsoever. So I got lucky. Um, but yeah, so that went really well. I had to write just like a soap note for that. So I already did that today in clinic because I had some time during lunch. And then I do have an exam on Thursday that I'm like, I have to study for. I really, I only studied on Sunday and I haven't studied any more since. Well, I studied a little bit yesterday, but it was the bare minimum. And I think I'm just at the point where I don't care. I'm just like, if I don't do well on it, then whatever. But I can't. I can't be like that because it's not like I'm it's not like this is the final and I've done so well in the class that I can fail it And that's not really how NP classes go. Like you have to have a B um, If you have anything lower than a B you don't pass the class. So anyway, I think I'm gonna shower and Then get some studying done. Maybe make like a cup of tea or something romanticize my studying or something, but Yeah, happy Tuesday. I'm thankful that that was such a big stressor for me today, so it's done and I feel like I can like breathe again, so. Good morning, guys. Happy, well, it's Wednesday today. Um, I was up really late last night studying for my test, so I kind of took it easy this morning, but <clears throat> I need to get ready because I'm about to be running late. It's nine o'clock. Sorry, I'm putting my contacts in. I hope that doesn't like trigger anybody. <laughs> but it's nine o'clock and that contact is not happy. I think that God hates me because he made me have terrible eyes. Like, I'm telling you the biggest gift that anybody could ever have is waking up in the morning and being able to see without having to put glasses or contacts on. My husband has perfect vision and it's so not fair. Um, anyway, I am going to get ready really quick for work at um, YouTube. I'm working there today, so I need to get ready because I need to leave by 9.15, but I tend to get ready pretty quickly, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'll try to film some today. That, there's really not much. Sometimes we don't have much to do, so I just sit and study, which I'm kind of hoping happens today. Like, knock on wood, I hope I didn't just like jinx myself from doing that, but yeah, that's what I need. Lord knows I need that study time. So, anyway, I gotta go, I gotta get ready. Oh, hello. Okay, where am I gonna put you? I cannot do. Uh, I'm making dinner right now. Well, I'm making like a part of dinner right now because I don't really know what it is going to be. Um, I bought these, I hate regular sweet potatoes, just like fun fact. I think I ate like too many of them at one point in my life and now I can't eat them at all. But I bought these um, white sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's this week and I really want to make something with them because we eat too much processed food and we need to stop doing it. But processed food is just so quick and easy and life is busy but anyway I'm gonna put these sweet potatoes in the oven and then I'm gonna take the boys for a walk. Um, 
while they're cooking because you know like sweet potatoes potatoes in general take like a hundred years to cook so that's the plan i um i'm happy to report i did not study at all today of course during work well that's not true i got through two powerpoints out of ten but it wasn't like quality studying so i'm gonna study tonight at this point in time i just am hoping for the best because there's nothing else I can do. Like, I'm not really somebody who crams for tests. Um, I'm not really capable of keeping information, like, in my brain for a short amount of time. Like, I um, am more good with long-term stuff. I'm more, I'm not really good with memorization anymore. Like, I used to be in, like, nursing school and stuff. But, anyway, we'll see what I can bang out tonight. But, I just really don't want to do it, you know? I'm really over studying and I still have to do it and I'll have to do it for a certification exam F me oh I can't think about that now but I'm really proud of this honestly the boys are very jealous but it is like a lettuce wrap there's tofu in there there's some rice noodles cucumber um, carrots and then I put some of the Japanese sweet potato and I made a little peanut sauce and honestly like that looks bomb I'm really excited to try it I've been terrible at, ah, at vlogging today because my camera died this morning and I had to charge it so maybe it wasn't my fault but um, it's Thursday and I had my test today it went really well I got 96 um, which is good and I got home Seth made a really good like Asian inspired um, tofu like noodle stir fry thing that was super good and then he had to go there having like a banquet at school tonight so he had to go do that and I am in charge of cleaning the house because my house is disgusting and it really just bewilders me because okay that's my fault but I'm, I'm not here that much, so how does my house, look at this. I know who does this. It would be that one right there, but it's so gross. The floors, which I'm, I don't even think that you can like see anything, but the floors are so disgusting. They need to be swept and mopped and the dishes need to be done and... We're doing it because I'm not working in the hospital tomorrow. I have the day off because I have to do a Pete's, um orientation for my pediatric preceptorship. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And um, I'm going to clean this house because it's like, it's not giving me good energy being in this house. It's giving me very bad energy because it's so dirty and... Friday today I just drove to my pediatric um, orientation thing and my pediatric orientation is really far from my house it's like an hour but like an hour and a half with traffic and which is so annoying but I couldn't find any in Tampa um, whoops one second um, so I drove all the way here I got stuck in traffic and paperwork took like two minutes to fill out so now I'm about to go and it's not at the office that I'm gonna be at so I'm just gonna track the office just to like go do a drive-by of it see where it is but yeah it kind of sucks that I'm going so far because um, I could never find anybody in Tampa until literally Wednesday somebody messaged me who is a pediatric nurse practitioner in Tampa was like hey do you still need a um pediatric preceptor and i was like dang it <laughs> because i had already have this all set up i don't want to go through like the process again and i would feel bad for like the person that i'm going with she's already planning on having me 
like dropping out on her. So I was like, no, but thank you. So I will be driving super far, but anyway, let me figure out where this other place is. Oh my goodness, it's babies, it's babies. I'm gonna make a sandwich for lunch, just the same sandwich that I made for yesterday with hummus. Oh, hold on, I'm watching YouTube video. Hummus, jicama, cucumbers, lettuce, um, green pepper, pickles. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but I don't really care. of like uploading these clips to my computer and editing it so that should be interesting because I would like to my goal would be to get a new video up every Sunday but we'll see how that goes um, I'm reaching the end of my semester so things seem a bit more manageable but I do have to work at the med spa today but only have two clients right now booked for around 1 30 so I'm gonna get there at like 115 and they're just vitamin shots so it's not anything crazy right now but I need to take a sip of this coffee perfect I have like I have to use measuring cups with my coffee because I have the perfect ratio in my head um, and it comes out perfect every time so pro tip use measuring cups and get exactly like what you want and you will have the perfect cup of coffee every single time but anyway, I think I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I'm not gonna show much of the IV bar med spot thing because I'm gonna make a TikTok of it today. Um, so check me out on TikTok if you're interested in it. I do make, I try to upload at least one video every day and most of my like IV stuff is on there. I go really in depth on what I do. I have lots of videos on the process, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this was very fun for me to film and like i'm still getting used to it so be a little bit gentle on me i want to sometimes i feel like i'm just showing clips of me talking and not me actually doing things so i'm working on it and trying to create a more conscious effort about like pulling out the camera so yeah it only goes up from here and thank you for watching this and if you enjoyed it make sure to let me know and i'll see you in the next video Bye, guys.